The study we saw regarding unemployment. What is unemployment? That is the number of jobs are less and number of people are more. People are not getting the jobs. Due to that, what are the causes we saw and how to solve that problems also we saw. In causes we saw what or why this thing is happening because there is more what to call it as a, a population growth is there due to the population more people uh, uh, are born and due to the increase in population as the number of jobs is less many people are jobless then uh, whatever the uh, agriculture which we are agricultural country we are telling but the people now the younger generations are interested to come to the city side and they are attracted to the uh, what to call it as the lighting of the cities so they are leaving their uh, ancestors uh, agricultural job and coming and and that is what is uh, called it as a uh, active job seekers they are so it is adding up to the unemployment so these are the causes and how to solve them also we saw today we are going to see the next problem which is called as a corruption it's a common word which you know also many times you must have heard your parents or someone using the corruption corruption okay now misuse of public power to personal use so whatever the taxes which are collected by the government, it is for the welfare of the people to develop the economic condition of the country. But this, what is happening, that prop, that whatever the power is there, that is the public power, it is misused. That is, they are looting that whatever the public power is there for their personal purpose. To meet their personal ends, they are uh, using that. So that is called as misuse of public power to personal use. Misuse of interstate power. That is very important thing we say education. We say education for uh, in India now we call education as Saraswati Devi. So even in that uh, what we call it as holy place where education is uh, uh, given, there also corruption is taking place. So whatever the trust we have, that trust is lost today. No one is having trust on anyone. Everyone is trying to gain one or the other thing that is money, money, money. Okay, that is what the people are behind. In what way? If I do this work, what shall I get? If I do this work, what shall I gain from that fellow? That what can I uh, even helping today also is money minded calculation today. That too much corruption is there. So the interested power, whatever the power is given for the education, election, heritage, okay, all these whatever is given for the public welfare, for the uh, good of the people, so that the uh, economic condition of the country can develop. All that whatever the interstate power is there, all is used for the private gain. That is, the people are using for the themselves, for the development of themselves. My family, my members, we should be happy. Whatever I can do, I will cheat and collect the amount and I will be a corrupted fellow. That is only what is running in each and every people's mind. That is what uh, we call it as misuse of interstate power. So see misuse of public power, misuse of interstate power. That is in each and every field, the man is always waiting for a chance to get whatever he can take from that situation. He is actually looting the country and making the economic condition to fall down. That is why our India, we are not developing due to work, corruption. Wherever you go, corruption is there. First, put the money, your work will be done. That is what the condition of, uh, what about it as India is today, facing the power, what about it as the problem of corruption. What are the causes? Why this corruption came? How did it came to our India? What are the causes? The main cause is your political. 
okay and economical environment today whoever the politici politicians are whichever party they belong all these politicians are corrupted politicians one or the other way they are seeing in how in what way we can collect the amount from the people and we can misuse and we can use for uh, their what about is private purposes each and every politician today this covid 19 pandemic situation is there even in this situation some of them are looting the people okay in what way you can see the whatever the medicines are provided for the covid vaccine and all in the paper once it came that a doctor for 500 rupees whatever the vaccine is being given 1000 rupees the doctor is giving means the doctor is also corrupted he wants money so even the life of human being is nothing okay they it has become zero there is no value for the human life just they want the money you give the money we will give you whatever you want even when the covid patients die for them the ambulance they have to take them they are also corrupted they are asking demand is so high that the poor people are not able to provide that but somehow they are meeting their ends and they are whatever the demand is there they are uh, going to that demand and they want that dead body to be cremated because covid bodies are not given so to take that dead body and to be taken into some uh, uh, place and to be buried for that also corruption is done see the death of the human body also is uh, from that also the people are earning money so how downfall of the morality the moral values have gone completely down no moral values is there whatever the moral values that india is well known for its moral values because ramayana mahabharata so good epic stories are there and it is what to call it as a, a place of uh, gods and goddesses but what is happening today we are seeing no nothing no moral values there. even the son will cheat the father okay or the uh, relation relatives will cheat one another just they want money how they can collect money how they can cheat each other and how they can develop themselves and their private use others money also they will use for themselves and that is what the corruption is so first political and economical environment disobey of professional ethics okay ethics means what the values Today no values are there. Professional ethics, that is from uh, what to call it as a, uh, 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 the uh, boss is there and a uh, pure is there working in that. And what happens? The boss is a corrupted fellow. The pure is a good fellow but he can't do anything. He has to work that, with that boss. He needs that job. He has to look after his family. Though he has the ethics, he is not able to do anything. Whatever the boss tells, he has to do that work. He is helpless in that position. So that is what the disobey of professional ethics. Though he wants to do, he don't want to do the wrong thing, but he has to do for his survival purpose, for his earnings. He has to do this. Negative morality. What I told you now, the morality has become gone negatively. No moral values are there. No more moral values. Even if uh, in some uh, uh, big big hospitals you can see that the organs like kidney and all they they are sold out by the what you call it as uh, doctors, okay? And they are earning money from that. That from the dead bodies within uh, some hours if you remove the organs it can be stored for a long time and you can re do, okay you can give to the person who is in need so that also has become a business what is that corruption they want to earn from that what you call it is organs of the human beings also they are earning money it means what morality is not at all there Okay, sometimes what may what they do if uh, uh, very poor people and uneducated people come to their hospital 
what they will do is they will give the treatment and they will show oh this has happened this has happened like this has happened and unnecessarily what they will do they remove the one because two kidneys are there one kidney the man can survive for a long time so one kidney will be removed but these poor people are the other people don't know about it and that is how the racket is going on like this okay see the what to call it as the uh, children okay they are abducted and they are taken away and what what is being done a racket is there where the children are sent to the other uh, countries and other states okay without uh, the knowledge of the parents they will kidnap the children and send and they are using for the wrong purposes the children that is also for what it is also for corruption for want of the money so that is what is called it as the negative morality is not at all there that is called as negative morality then anarchy corruption anarchy means what from the four fathers that is the father is doing the uh, corruption so the son will see that and he will also be what to call it as a, he will also fall in the same line that is called as anarchy corruption so what to call it as the corruption will be continuous in that family that is anarchy corruption demography what is this demography demography means what study what you have to study the birth and death and income okay the birth pre the deaths how much birth has taken place how much death is there then income how much income then incidence of disease that is uh, what disease that now today we see that the covid 19 is a pandemic disease so that incidence of diseases reflects on human population so what happens all this birth date income everything is reflected on human population but, but what is happening today we, you know that the death rate is less in india and the birth rate is more so increasing population is there that incidence of disease disease is a few people will die due to disease but that also will reflect on the human population so what will happen that though the disease death and uh, death rates are there but compared to the birth rate the death rate is very less so what that over population of this human being he has made the corruption to be evolved in india so this is what we talk about the corruption let us see what happens the impact of corruption negative impact on development this is what happens if the money it goes to a particular person only and it is not used for the development of the country whether it is economic development whatever development is there the the what to call it as the development will be stopped at a certain stage it won't uh, increase in certain uh, what to call it areas the development won't increase it will be a uh, what to call it as obstacle will be there for the development because the money is not there with the government where the money went the money went to the corrupted what to call it politicians are there that corrupted businessmen are there with them the money is lying and the government cannot develop whatever it wants to do for the welfare of the people so negative impact on development blockage <coughs> for business means if you want to start a new business so many rules and regulations are there for example if you want to start a hotel there is certain rules and regulations are there if you follow that is whenever you want to uh, uh, invest money on what to call a hotel we know that the food act is there the uh, department is there where you uh, the uh, the persons will come to check whether in your hotel what type of uh, food is made whether it is a quality food or not so that food department is there for that you have to they will ask more money to give you the permission to start the hotel so the person will have to pay the more amount to that department and what this person will do he, he has lost some of his money to pay for that people to start his business so he will increase the rate of whatever the food items he is going to make into the hotel so indirectly he will also involved in corruption so that is what is happening blockage for business so indirectly we are making certain people 
to be corrupted. Backwardness and poverty, we know India is a very backward country. You no know, uh, up to date, whatever the America, then England, uh, you take such a countries, Russia, they are well developed because there this corruption is not there. People are there, they are employed, and people also work for the development of the country. Here, backwardness is there. And what is that due to this? What happened as the jobs are not there, unemployment. It is creating poverty and this corruption also. The rich people are becoming rich and the poor people are becoming poor only. This corruption has affected more to the middle class people and the what we call it as uh, low class people. Because middle class and low class people they earn the amount how much mm, is needed for the family. They are not earning any extra amount what the businessmen and politicians are earning. So their amount is limited and they have to run the house in that limited amount. So what is happening? There due to that the poverty is increasing in India. Brain drain and loss of talent. Now a person is a very intelligent genius fellow. He has so many ideas to do. But what is happening? This uh, Corruption, wherever he goes to put forward his ideas, money is asked, but corruption is there. So, whatever the good ideas will be there in his uh, mind, what will happen due to this, uh, uh, what you call it, as the pressure of the cor corruption, that talent person will leave. For this, why I should struggle so hard? So whatever that is there, the talent in that person will be lost. And we are losing a talented person. That is very important. He himself will also think, all are doing the uh, corruption work. Why I should be there? I will also start doing the corruption. That is what the uh, uh, mind changes. And whatever the talent is there in that particular person, we will lose a talented person. That is what brain drain and loss of talent. Loss of faith in judicial system. So, so what will happen certain people who are, okay, the, what to call it as the uh, prey of this uh, corruption. They feel that government is not with them. The justice is not uh, given to them. So they lose faith in the government and judicial system. Okay, they don't like whatever the uh, government is putting forward the policy because they are the prey of that what do call corruption. Okay, so for that, they lose faith in judicial system. Loss of natural resources. Okay, so what is this a nat uh, a natural resources? Is that the loss will be there for the natural resources. So these are what about as impacts. Negative impact on development, blockage for the business, backwardness and poverty, brain drain and loss of talent, loss of faith in judicial system and loss of the natural resources. These are the impacts of what we call it as the corruption. Is there any solution? Can uh, the uh, remedy is there for this corruption to be stopped? Or can we decrease the percentage of corruption? Because in uh, India the percentage of corruption is high. So can we decrease it or can we stop this corruption? For that we have to find out the solutions. Is there any solutions? Yes, certain solutions are there. If you follow that, what will happen? The rate of the corruption can be, what to call it as, can be controlled. What are these solutions? Giving good salary to government employees. Why these people are coming forward for the corruption? Because they are not getting the salary, good salary. Good salary is not there, means they are not able to look after their family and the welfare of the family. So they are, the demands of the family will be more and to okay, cope up with the demand of the family, they fall in the trap of uh, corruption. So for that reason, if the salary is given good to the people and they are able to survive in that uh, salary and they are able to uh, look after the family and the welfare of the family in a very good manner, Naturally, the people will vote to go for the corruption. So that is the main what good salary should be given to government employees. 
try to make indian society cashless means what whatever the transaction above of the money is there it should be it should be done with the bank transactions or google pay or phone pay whatever it is so what will happen the we can track and we can come to know where the transaction is going on not the cash direct cash transaction there we cannot catch how much amount is lost and how much amount is gone if the transaction each and every person does the transaction by the bank or phone pay or google pay immediately we can uh, see and uh, find out where actually the corruption is going on so that is what we say that try to make indian society cashless transparent tax structure okay so what is there gst is there stg uh, is there what is these taxes are there they should be transparency in these taxes okay and the structure should be made in such a way that whoever comes under that taxation should pay the taxes properly year to year and that should be seen and that is transparent tax tax structure should be there sometimes we may find that there is no transparency in tax structure may create the corruption and that may what about it as may affect the economic condition also bring political parties under rti right to information means whatever the political parties transparency in their dealings in their transaction in the whatever they do their the correct information should be given right because we people the world is a democratic country we people have brought those what to call it as political parties so we people if people ask the transparency the political parties should give the correct what to call it as uh, information to the people and the people should come to know about it blacklist corrupted politician and servicemen okay we uh, if we uh say in india so many politicians will come under the blacklist so we should blacklist that corrupted politicians and the servicemen and from them what if they should be punished for that corruption whatever they have done and how much money can be recovered should be recovered by this uh, politician so sir what will happen then if this uh, solutions are done then easily we can uh, solve the problem of corruption so today i am going to stop here goodbye children thank you children